minutes. So now we are going to see a new concept in Fourier series that is even and odd function in negative pi to pi. So guys, if you are following all my videos, then you must be remember that in the previous videos, I have covered the set of important results which are required for Fourier series. In that, I have covered a concept of even and odd function. So guys, whenever we get the range of integration from negative a to positive a, then that time we can check whether the given function is even or not. And if it is even, then the formula that we use to find out the coefficients of Fourier expansion that is a naught, a n and b n, they changes. So here we are going to see set of formulae that is which formulae we must use if the given function is even or odd. So let's start. So here what we will do is we will do few considerations. So first of all we will assume that the given function is even. So here I will say case number one that if f of x is even. So if f of x is even function then as per the property we say that integration from minus a to a f of x dx is given by 2 times integration 0 to a f of x dx and in case of odd function this integration is straightforward 0. So guys now I am going to use this property for finding a0, an and bn. So what is formula of a0 or a0 in general cases? It is 1 upon 2 pi integration 0 to 2 pi or here since the range is negative pi to pi I would say negative pi to pi f of x dx. So this is a general formula of a0. Now in this formula if you see the range it is negative pi to pi so it is similar to minus a to a and hence we will check this property of even and odd function. So if f of x is even so as we have assumed that f of x is even here f of x is even so it will be written by this formula so this will become 1 by 2 pi and this will become 2 times integration of 0 to pi f of x dx and guys we can cancel this 2 with 2 and we will get value as 1 by pi integration 0 to pi f of x dx and guys this is the new formula that we are going to use for a naught if f of x is in similarly let's find out an and bn so an is given by 1 by pi integration negative pi to pi f of x cos of nx dx. Now here we have assumed that f of x is even and you all must be knowing that cos nx is universal even function. So it's always even because cos of negative theta is cos theta and therefore we say cos is the even function. So even into even. So I have given you important results where I showed you that if two even functions multiply each other then the result is also even. So the value will be even. So since this whole, this whole function is even, I will again use this same property that is this result and according to this result it will become 2 times this pi as it is and this range will change to 0 to pi f of x cos of nx dx. So guys, this is the formula of an or I would say new formula of an if f of x is even. Now the last value that is the value of bn. So let's see here. So generally the bn is given by 1 by pi integration negative pi to pi f of x sin of nx dx. Now guys here, we have assumed that f of x is even and sin nx is universal odd function. So even into odd is odd. So if the 
resultant function is odd, then by the property of definite integral, the answer is equal to 0 and therefore bn will be 0. So guys, whenever in a given question, we get f of x as even function, we are going to find out a0 and an by this formula and we will straightforward say bn is 0. It means the work to find out bn is now reduced. Now let's see second case that is when f of x is odd function. So that is the case number 2. So if f of x is odd function. So let's see what happens. So generally a0 is given by the formula 1 upon 2 pi negative pi 2 pi f of x dx. Now guys since f of x is odd function and the limit is from minus a to a we know that integration is equal to 0. So a0 will be 0. Now let's see an. So an is given by the formula 1 by pi negative pi 2 pi f of x cos of nx dx. Now here f of x is odd function because we have assumed here it is odd. Cos is universal even. And odd into even is odd. So, if the resultant function is odd, range is from minus a to a, we say that integration is equal to 0. Now, the last value that is bn. So, the formula for bn is 1 by pi, integration negative pi to pi, f of x, sin of nx dx. Now, guys, in this formula, this f of x is odd, as well as sin nx is also odd. And odd into odd is even, and therefore we are gonna use the result that is 2 times 0 to pi. So this will become answer will be 2 times this pi as it is integration from 0 to pi f of x sine of nx dx. Guys, you can observe here that whenever f of x is odd function, you don't have to find out a naught and a n, but they are zero you will just find out bn. So again the work to find out a0 and an an is reduced. We will just find out bn to get the Fourier series. So these are the formulae which we will use in the coming numericals whenever we get the given function is even or odd and the limit must be negative a to a or here I would say specifically minus pi to pi. So guys I am sure that you understood this concept. And now in the coming videos, we will see how to apply this concept in the numerical. So stay tuned with ekira.com. Thank you very much.